Hi everyone and welcome to my live creative time today. My name is Mandy Witherby from Mandy's Papercraft Creations and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Sydney, Australia. Welcome to another week of crafting and chatting and just enjoying some time together this afternoon. I have got a really cute and fun eclectic card for you today. So it is using the super cool stamp set this one here. just have to close my case because I still had it open. Um, yeah, it's using this one here, which is super cool, as it says. So we're going to have a bit of fun with that one today. Um, so it is the 4th of December 2023. Can you believe it? Christmas is 21 days away. Oh my goodness, that's only three weeks. <laughs> Who's ready? Are you all ready? I'm not ready. I've got so much still to do before then. So um, let's hope that the, the last few weeks drag on a little bit so that um, it goes a bit slower. All right. Well, while everybody is jumping on and uh, finding me that uh, finding that I have gone live, I should say, I'll just bring this live up on my other devices so that I can see everyone's comments. So bear with me one moment and I'll bring them up here my iPad so I had last minute scramble finding cables and things because I had to plug in all of my devices today um, and I'm like oh my goodness where's my extra cable so yes there's always always something last minute always always okay all right let's just put that on mute and bring that up Great. All right. Good. Everything is happening. Now we're going to be doing a little bit of um, eclectic creating today. So I have got my, I'll tip my camera down a little bit. I have got my, um, my, well, I won't say vintage. They're not, are they vintage? Vintage, I suppose you would say. No, not vintage. What's the word? I had it in my head earlier and I can't remember what it was vintage not vintage <laughs> it'll come to me anyway I've got my brooches on today because we're going to be creating with some food stamps so I thought what better way to um, celebrate that than to have my old mix master my stove and of course my cookbook um, and of course I've got my tea cups because you know we all love our cups of tea and coffee too so I thought I'd wear those ones today. So I've got my little my little grouping there. Except my mix master is a little bit top heavy. It keeps on wanting to twist on my shirt. Doesn't really like this fabric, I think. <laughs> How are you, Rose? Great to have you here. Um, it's lovely to be here. Hey, Julie. How you going? Everyone, say hi as you jump on in. And uh, we will get started. Oh, my computer screen has already gone black screen. Oh, silly thing. Why does it do that? I'll just do a refresh over there. I don't know why it does that. It's very annoying. Um, okay, we've got it back over there. Let's see now. Do we have sound or no sound? Good. Okay, oh, got it back. Good. We'll see how long it lasts this time. <laughs> I'm sure it's a Facebook Live thing because it only happens when I'm recording. So if I'm watching somebody else's Facebook Live or anything like that, it doesn't disappear. Oh, there it goes again. It's gone again. I don't know. Crazy, crazy. That's right. I can see your comments on my iPad. So, oh, well, I hope I can. Hang on. Let me see if I can bring them up. There they are. Yeah. All good. All right. Well, um, let me tell you a few things about, um, well, actually, before we jump into that, let me ask you, how was your weekend? What did you get up to? Um, did you do anything fun or exciting? I know a lot of people have had um, Christmas celebrations start already. There's been a lot of work parties and friends gathering and things like that. So let us know in the comments um, if you... Uh, have been doing something fun. We had on Saturday afternoon, we had our last team gathering for the year and our team Christmas celebration. So we had some fun games. We did, um, we had some creativity in there as well. We created some cute little tags. You might've seen, 
I put them? I put them over here. Let me grab them. Uh, no, not over there. Over here. There they are. Forgot where I put them. I put them in with my gifty things, not with my Christmas cards. So you might have seen I post this, posted this up um, on the weekend that I made these cute little tags with my team. Everybody made something different. Oh, let me just adjust that camera. Everybody made something different because they got to choose their own products that they wanted to use. And these were the little gift tags that I made. So super cute. I love that beautiful blingy blingy paper, that beautiful DSP. Um, so yeah, so we had a lot of fun on Saturday afternoon um, in our team gathering, a lot of laughs and um, yeah, some fun activities. So it was really great. That was really fun. And then yesterday was a cruisier day. We had church and then we had to go and tackle the shops and get a couple of things. So that was pretty crazy. There were people everywhere. Um, thankfully, we only had to do one shop, which was Kmart. So that was good. Kmart, then the chemist, and then home. So <laughs> it wasn't too bad. Um, we didn't go to the big, the big plaza or anything like that. Um, yeah, and then nap in the afternoon because I was so tired. And then crafting last night and yeah, doing a little bit of work. I don't normally work, work on Sundays, but I've got some time off coming up. So um, I thought I better get some things done while I can. All right. Um, what about you, Rose and Julie? What did you get up to on the weekend? Let me know in the comments. I know Julie was with us um, for some of the afternoon on Saturday for our team gathering, which was lovely. Um, yeah, so let me know what you got up to. What else you got up to? Um, while I'm waiting for your comments to come up, let me just tell you a couple of things that are happening. So the current mini catalog, which is this one here, the September to December 2023, and I just realized I've picked up one of the brand new ones. So this one looks very nice and clean and crisp. Um, whereas I normally show my one on there that's all battered and bruised and has sticky notes sticking out of it everywhere <laughs> because it's well loved. Um, but this one is retiring very, very soon. It's actually retiring on the, is it the third or the fourth? I always forget. Um, third of January. This one's retiring on the third of January. So that means that a lot of the products that are in here are going to be going for good. Now, there are a few that are carrying over, um, but the majority of them will be retiring for good. So if you had any of the products from this catalog on your wish list, then be sure to grab them while you can. And if you go to my online store, you might actually be able to snap up some bargains as well, because there's quite a few products on there that are discounted up to 60% off. So go there and definitely check that out. Now, if you are ordering any products, whether that be from the mini catalog or the current annual catalog, and you want to get your products all from the online store, because we've got those online exclusives, remember too, that are only in the online store, you won't find them in any printed catalog. Um, if you want your products before Christmas, be sure to order them by this Friday, which is the 8th of December. So Stampin' Up! said that they will guarantee pre-Christmas deliveries if you place your orders before the 8th of December. That's here in Australia. I'm not sure if that's a different date in other countries, um, but here in Australia, it is the 8th of December if you want to guarantee your products to be received before Christmas. Now, you might like to get some gifts as well. Um, we've got the, the beautiful all-inclusive kits. They make fantastic gifts. I've already bought a couple um, to give out for gifts as well this, this Christmas. Um, and if you need any help with gift ideas uh, from any of the, the Stampin' Up! products, then please feel free to get in contact with me. I would love to help you to choose some products um, for your loved ones that would be appropriate for them depending on their age and their experience with crafting, if they're new to crafting or if they're an experienced crafter, then I would love to help you to um, select out some products. So please feel free to get in contact with me. Hey, Brenton, how are you? Great to have you with us today. 
Um, hey Robin, great to have you with us. How are you? All right, yes, yeah, so make sure you get those orders in by this Friday the 8th of December if you want to guarantee your um, delivery before Christmas, okay? All right, Rose said she didn't do anything exciting on the weekend, had family visit for a meal. Well, that's exciting. It's always nice to gather with family. Um, don't see our girls too often as they work full time. Oh, well, that is, that is exciting then, Rose. That's beautiful. That's lovely that you got to send, spend some quality time with your girls. That's lovely. Julie said, uh, we went and caught up with some friends for lunch on Saturday before our team meeting. Yep, then Sunday we went to church, then had a quiet one, and you got to make some Christmas cards. Yay, fantastic. Amber's been crafting away this morning as well while I was busy um, doing other things, and she's created a couple of cards this morning as well. Um, which has been great because I haven't had time to do a whole heap of them. I've been busy with lots and lots of other things. So yeah, how was your weekend, Brenton? And also Robin as well. How was your weekend, lovely people? Did you have a nice weekend? Did you do something special? Um, Brenton, were you working? <laughs> I know you often work on weekends. Um, all right, so now if you are looking for my online store, let me tell you how to find it. You can go either to my blog or to my website. Um, if you go to either of those, then you just click on the shop button. It's at the top of the page on both of those um, platforms. So you can find them both ways. But if you go to my blog, you will find lots of other things there as well. There's lots of creative inspiration there. Um, there is um, also, if you're not yet subscribed to my newsletter, you can subscribe to my newsletter there through my blog so that I can keep you up to date with everything that's happening with Stampin' Up, um, all the sales and specials and things like that. If you want to keep up to date with those, I also put some creative inspiration in there. And from time to time, I put in um, some tips and tricks and different techniques and all different sorts of things I put in there. Um, and there's also links in there for catalogs if you want catalogs if you don't already have them um, and you don't already have a demonstrator uh, here in Australia and what else is there on my blog uh, oh always my host code too so I've got a new host code this month as well remember that if you are shopping with me to use my host code so this is my December 2023 host code so yeah, I don't know if you can make anything of that. SU, Stampin' Up, Q, question. Stampin' Up, question for NK. I don't know what NK could be. DU, do you think? I don't know. <laughs> it's fun trying to make up um, phrases to fit all the letters, but it doesn't always work. <laughs> so there you go. Now, exciting, exciting news. Oh, wait, let me catch up and see. Uh, Brenton said the weekend was good, nothing special. Oh, just working. Ah, oh, well, that's okay. You know, we have to we have to do what we have to do. <laughs> as long as you enjoy what you do, that's great. Then, um, Robin said she had a busy Saturday celebrating Nigel's birthday. Ah, oh, happy birthday, Nigel! Ah, oh, that's lovely. Very good. Oh, I look forward to hearing about that. Um, at a later stage, Robin, we'll have to have a chat. Oh, that's great, very good. All right, well, let me tell you some exciting news that is coming up. Of course, we have Christmas coming up, so that's always exciting, but we have a brand new mini catalog coming, and I have a copy of it now, so I can actually show you the front cover. I can't show you the inside yet, though, not until it goes live to all of our customers but I can show you the front cover. So this is the January to April 2024 mini catalog. Now it's going to launch on the, let me get this right, the 4th of January. But as demonstrators, we can start ordering from this catalog on the 5th, I'm getting my tongue tied, on the 5th of December. So, which is super exciting. So if you want to get some of these products early and you're not yet a demonstrator, then you are more than welcome to join my team and you can start ordering from these products um, from the 5th of December. In fact, you can put some of these products into your starter kit if you would like to. 
So that is a super great incentive um, to join. Now, not only that, but in January and February, and this will be starting also on the same day, Celebration is happening. And this is a great promotion that set, um, Stampin' Up! has every year where you can earn free product. So if you're not familiar with Celebration, perhaps you're new to Stampin' Up! and you've never seen Celebration before, basically what it is, is you get to choose free products from this brochure. And there's so many this time. This brochure is actually 19 pages long this time. So it's it's a bigger Celebration brochure. And I feel like there's more products this time in this one than what we've had previously. Um, so with qualifying, qualifying, say qualifying, that's right, qualifying, oh my goodness, it's been a day already, qualifying sales of $90 or more, you get to choose a free item from this brochure, which is amazing. Now, as I said, it will start from the 4th of January. However, if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can start earning these um, from the 5th of December so we can get them early as well which is super exciting so both of these are coming now if you don't already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator here in Australia and and you live in Australia and you would like a copy of these um, catalogs I can get them out to you so let me pop a link up in the comments for you have my links all ready to go today I got them already last night. So let me pop that one up in the comments for you. And then you can request a catalogue. And of course, I if I'm sending out the mini, I will definitely send out the celebration brochure with it as well. But just remember the celebration brochure only goes for January and February, whereas the mini catalogue will go until April. Okay, so the link is right there for you in the comments. Feel free to click on that. I will pop um, those links in my link tree as well. In fact, I think it already is. Um, so if you go to my link tree, you can get that there too. And I'll make sure that that link is in the description of the video, both here on Facebook and over on YouTube, which while we're talking about YouTube, if you have not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, and thank you to all of my YouTube watchers. Thank you for watching over there. I do put all of my videos over there on YouTube. Um, please feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you like what you see here. And then click on the little bell notification, and then you can choose how you'd like to be notified whenever I upload a new video. So that way you'll keep up to date with everything that's happening. So between that and my newsletter, is how I keep everybody up to date. So, um, and also here, of course, on my Facebook, um, my Facebook page, which is my main platform. I do also post over on Instagram, but I post more here on Facebook. So, um, yeah. So, if you want to keep up with what's going on, then make sure that you are following here on Facebook as well. Then you'll get notified whenever I um, post here. Hey, Glenda, how are you? Lovely to have you with us. Fantastic. All right. So that is all the news. Now, the other thing too is I have my last class coming up for 2023 and it actually closes tomorrow. So if you have not yet registered for my super cool eclectic card class, look at all those different cool cards, lots and lots of color, very eclectic. Um, we are going to be using some of those products today to create our card, but it won't be one of the cards from the class. It'll be an additional card. Okay. But yeah, this is a, a fantastic class. Really fun. This one. Um, we've got some cool um, retro sort of um, feels to some of those projects. And yeah, it's just really, really fun. This one. So this one registration is closing tomorrow, Tuesday, the 5th of December. So make sure you register um, if you haven't yet registered, let me pop the link in the comments for you so that you can go and do that straight away and then you can come back and keep watching. Um, there we go. Oops, let me just write here. Rego, close 5th of December. 
super cool eclectic card class i love this one. Oh my goodness these papers and this stamp set was so fun to play with as i said this is the stamp set that we're using in the class and this is the stamp set we're using today i just love the retro feel of this one isn't it just so awesome it's really really cute so um that's what we're going to be playing with today hence me wearing my my retro my retro vintage badges today and cooking of course because we're going to be playing with some food today so i thought this was very fitting because we could be we could be thinking about cooking some of these things and of course coming up to christmas too like most of us are cooking or preparing food even if you're not a cook or you know you don't like cooking be preparing food or consuming food um the majority of us will be doing that so all right without further ado now let me just check okay so how about we tip the camera down to the desktop and we can get started all right here we go bear with me i'm going to cover up the camera while i tip it down just so i don't make you all dizzy here we go nope, tighten everything up There we go, and lights. Okay, oh, we're a little bit wonky. Hang on a sec, let me fix that. Is that tilted? That's tilted a little bit funny too, isn't it? There we go, how's that, is that better? I have to look on my iPad now because my computer screen has gone black again all right that's looking good great well, let's bring those lights down a bit let's bring the lights down okay fantastic all right now you know what i didn't do i didn't grab um my catalog but anyway this super cool um stamp set is from the annual catalog um i can't tell you what page it's on because i didn't grab out my annual catalog <laughs> Um, but let me grab it. Hang on a sec. Whee! Scoot over on my chair. All right, let's have a look. Now, did you know that in the catalogue there is an index in the back? Did you all know that? I think most people know that, but maybe some people don't know that. So let's have a look and see. I go and get my catalogue, um, my big one, my big annual one, spiral bound each year because... I like it laying flat um, when I open it and I'm using it all the time. Okay, page 28. Page 28, so it's near the front. There it is. Page 28. There we go. Super cool. This is the stamp set that we're using for the class and also um, for today's project. So um, really cute little, I love this this little project here in this one. Um, this one's cute too, but I love this. I love the colors in this one the best. That's my favorite one on the page. So that's where you'll find it. Now we're also using some designer series paper and we're using the big pack, um, the delightfully eclectic, hence the name of my class being super cool eclectic card class because we're using the Delightfully Eclectic. Now, I'll show you this paper, sorry, page 129, if you're looking for it in your catalogue. Otherwise, just go and look in my online store, okay? The paper is a combination of a whole different, a whole different heap of, sorry, a whole heap of different papers different themes different colors different patterns um and yeah so they're really really fun now you can see i've got lots of chopped up bits here because we've been designing with it for class so i'll just show you some of these papers these are really cool we use these on one of the class one of the cards in the card class actually um Yep, oh, we've already seen some of that. 
got some of this. We're using some of this today, actually. Some more, more little scrappy bits. Look at this. How cute are the pretzels? So adorable. And these fun stripes on the other side. I love those too. Got some great, these make great masculine cards. We've got some pretty florals. So there's a really great um, mixture of different types of things. And you will find that some of these will coordinate with some stamp sets as well. Like we've got, um, actually we've got, I'll just go back to page 28. I was just thinking this, this paper would probably go really well with the So Refreshing stamp set as well. So you'll find that throughout the catalogue that the different, oh, sorry, through these um, papers. Oh, no, I just tipped everything on the floor that we were going to be using today. Hang on one sec. <laughs> it got caught on the front of my catalogue. And I just lost the lot. So there's the stamp set. And all my card pieces, which I had organised, are now not organised because they just all fell on the floor. Ah. Okay. All right. I think we're all good. Um, yes. So as I was saying, some of these papers will coordinate with different um, stamp sets throughout the catalogue. Great textures, patterns. Patterns, I should say, not really textures, but patterns. Great black and whites. Always great to have black and white papers. And look at these. I love this paper. Isn't that just so pretty? Those flowers. And I love these florals as well. These are really cute, these little flowers. This is my favourite. I think this is one of my favourite ones. Some really bold um, crushed curry there with the white spots. Some more black and white. And we've got some swans on the other side, which I haven't used yet. You can see I haven't used that piece yet. Oh, actually, I might have used it in one of the other projects. I'm just trying to think now. Did I use that one? Can't remember. Anyway, so that's the paper. That's what we're using today. So I don't have a completed project. We are going to create it together. Now, in the class, you will get... Um, actually don't have the class list printed out. I did have, I think I forgot to get it out. Um, you will get uh, some of the paper. You're going to get um, some ribbon. So we've got two ribbons that we're using in the class this time. We've got the basic white, um, what is it called, the chevron? No, herringbone, this one. The basic white herringbone ribbon. Plus, you're going to get some of the Misty Moonlight um, braided, no, centre braided, inner braid, that's what it's called, <laughs> inner braid ribbon. You're also going to get some iridescent rhinestone basic jewels and you'll get some of the DSP as well. Then you'll get all of your card kits already cut um, for you. So then all you need to do, in, um, if you don't already have the stamp set, you can add on the stamp set and then you'll just need your inks and your basic toolkits. So it is a class to go, which means that you can create it at home, on your own, in your own time, in your jammies if you like to. Um, you don't even have to get dressed up and come out or anything. So that is a really great thing about um, the class the um, to-go classes. Now, these are the colours that we're using in the class, but today we're predominantly just using three. We're just using Crush Curry, Calypso, and Pretty Pink. Um, and these other three were used in the class as well, but we're not using those ones today. Okay, something additional I am... Oh, we're also... Um, we've got some die-cut pieces which will be included in the class as well. Um, I'm not actually using the dies today. But I am using an additional punch today. I'll be using the Banners Pick a Punch. Hey, Danielle, how are you? Lovely to have you with us. I am using the Banners Pick a Punch, but this one isn't used in the class. Um, this is just something I'm using today. All right, so the stamps on in the stamp set, um, they're just shown a 95% size here on the front. Um, 
and um, yeah, so you'll notice that the stamps are slightly larger. They are a photopolymer stamp set. So they are the clear. I've got lots of bits and pieces in here. <laughs> uh, as I said, I dropped my stamp case before. So let's pop these in here. They were some spare pieces. Um, yeah, so it's just really fun. You've got the little um, soda bottle or... Um, soft drink bottle as we would call it a little pie so that can be any any type of pie um, maybe it's a cherry pie or a um, I don't know what other types of pies do we have here in Australia um, plum pie peach pie whatever you want to have it a little jam roll a pretzel and a nice um, ice cream in ice cream cone now Julie just asked a question um, is pretty pink a new color Pretty pink. Did I say pretty pink? Pretty pink is not a new colour, no. <laughs> what did I say? I don't know what I said. I said so many things. No, we don't have a colour called pretty pink. <laughs> there used to be pink pirouette, but not pretty pink. Um, okay, so the papers that we're using today, I have chosen out... Um, okay, let me grab. I've got this one here. So on the other side was the strawberries. And I was going to use the strawberries, but it just wasn't working um, with what I used. So I thought, well, let me flip it over and I'll use the other side. So we're going to use that piece. We've got a little bit of this one here. This is like the, um, uh, what do you call them? Those ledger books. So it's like ledger paper. So we're going to be using a little piece of that, which I've already cut. And we're going to use some of the Pretty Peacock um, paper. Um, but we're just using a very small little piece of that to create a banner. So I've already done that piece. And then we've got some cardstock. Oh, we're going to be using the white ribbon. And I've got a strip of that cut. And then we've got some bases. Now, I hadn't decided yet which colour base because at first I had it on Pretty Peacock and then I thought, oh, I'm not sure now. Maybe I need to go with Calypso Coral. So I'm going to decide on that while we are filming. Um, oh, when I was saying what ink pads I was going to use. Oh, did I say Pretty Pink instead of Pretty Peacock? Ah, now I get what you're saying. I got it, Julie. No, sorry. Crushed Curry, Calypso Coral, and Pretty Peacock. Not Pretty Pink, Pretty Peacock. <laughs> They're the ones that we're using today. Yeah, that's, okay, now I get what you're saying. I must have said the wrong thing. You know, I do that a lot, especially when I'm filming and my mind is going at 100 miles an hour. And you're trying to think of everything that you've got to say it's very easy to get it wrong <laughs> all right well the first thing that we're going to do um, oh yes I was going to show you which stamps we're using today so today we're going to use the little jam roll and we're going to use the ice cream cone because I really love those and then we're going to use the you are so sweet we're going to use those two so they are separate um, stamps um, you can change it up, of course, but um, yeah, that's that's what I have decided to use today. So what I'll do is um, we'll decide on the bases in a minute. What I'm going to do is stamp my sentiment first, and I'm going to stamp my sentiment directly onto my paper, onto my DSP. Now, all of the measurements for this card will be on my blog this week. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to commit to what day because last week when I said it, I said it'll be on my blog tomorrow and then I didn't even get it on my blog until last night. So, um, yeah, my apologies for that, but it's just been a crazy, crazy week that I just couldn't get it finished. So it'll be up on my blog at some stage. So this is just a small piece though. Um, I'll tell you what it is quickly. Uh, seven by uh 9.6 i think i've cut it out and i'm going to stamp my sentiment directly onto here now i hope that i don't botch this up because 
well I could cut some more but I don't think I've got any left of that section of the paper of that size I'm going to grab my um, stamp and pierce mat because we are stamping with photopolymer now when I was designing this card I was practicing stamping some of the um, the images but I didn't practice stamping the sentiment so the sentiment so I might grab a scrap out where to put that I've got a scrap of grid paper here and I might just practice first um, I just want to double check that um, these are going to stamp nicely for me so we've got our sweet uh, I noticed this morning that some of my ink pads were a little bit juicy that one's okay so that's good I didn't test this one. <laughs> oh, Amber said I'm brave she'd stamp it onto a label first um, because she doesn't think she'd get it first go well I'm going to wing it and hopefully get it hopefully get it right the first time um, so I need to work out where I want these now I have already um, I did already stamp and fussy cut my images that I was going to use but I will do some more for you just to show you but I'm just going to use these just to position to get my sentiment where I want it okay all right so we'll ink this up we're going to do our sweet first all right so we're going to go on about this line here and the good thing with this paper is you have got the grids on this paper on this DSP there we go oh it is a little bit crooked actually because you know why I was lining up the S and the um, semi cut no um, what do you call that exclamation mark but I should have looked at these letters here but that's okay because I might cover that up a little bit with these anyway so you probably can't tell by the time I put it all together so that's all good but the you are so will need to be you are so sweet we'll try and get that straighter there we go that's better all right so that's not too bad I think we can kind of get away with it because of the design of the font so all good I'm not panicking about that so no I'm not going to cut another piece of the um, the ledger paper I'm going to go with that one all right and I'll show you how to um, stamp those those yummies our cake and our ice cream Alright, get those deep colours off there straight away. Okay, so now we want a piece of basic white. And this is just the ordinary basic white. It's not the thick, it's just the standard. You can use the thick if you want to. Um, I find if you're fussy cutting, the thick can be a little bit harder to, um, to cut. I mean, it's doable, but yeah, I like to use just the regular. And we're going to be using some... Calypso coral and some crushed curry now I did find with my Calypso coral and I wanted to show you this um, I have shown this technique before but my Calypso coral is quite juicy and because of the designs on these stamps because they've got a fair bit of detail on them they're not a distinctive stamp but they do have a lot of detail on them if your ink pad is too juicy it can look a bit um, sort of blurred the image can look a little bit blurred so I'm taking an old bone folder and you can see this one is stained because they are porous these bone folders and I'm just going to gently scrape that across my ink pad and I'm pushing the ink down into the ink pad as I do that just so that the ink is still there but it's not right at the surface well there is some at the surface but not all of it I don't want it to be too juicy okay then I'll just clean that off on my which is getting very pretty <laughs> my um, baby wipe make sure I get that clean because you don't want to transfer that color into any other color when you go to do this on a different ink pad 
okay and then we are ready to stamp so we're going to stamp two of the jam rolls now if you wanted to you could depending on you know what you're using these for and the color of paper you're putting with them you could stamp this in different colors you could um, ink it up with a sponge dauber perhaps and so that you can do the strawberry in a different color and I did do that when I was practicing as well but the colors just weren't blending with these papers so I decided just to keep it all the same color even though it's not true to life you know we're going retro so just think retro 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 so nothing is um, true life nothing is true life to color oh there goes my little sticky for my camera I thought that that was losing its sticky just fell down where I had it sticking up on the shelf all right and now we're going to use some crushed curry for the ice cream again we are just stamping it in um, single color I'm going to scrape this ink pad again let's get a baby wipe ready to get a new one because my other one got a bit inky because I had been using that one earlier too all right so I'll get that ready I did make sure that I cleaned my bone folder really well because this is a lighter color so I wouldn't want to be taking any of that calypso coral into my crushed curry there we go Can, did you see that change color I don't know if the lights picked up on that as I did it it gets lighter because it pushes that ink down into the um, the ink pad and then just give that a good clean even the edges because I find it gets on the edges too there we go okay and we're going to stamp an ice cream cone I love these ice cream cones they're so cute and again if you wanted to stamp this in different colors if you wanted to have the cone in a color and then the ice cream in a different color and then the cherry on the top in like a cherry color then you could certainly um, I'm going to stamp a second one just to be sure in case I need to um, cut a second one in case I muck it up there we go um, yeah so you can ink them up individually using a sponge dauber or you might like to use the direct to um, the the marker sorry direct marker to stamp technique where you actually color in the stamp using your stamp and write markers okay and then you huff on them to um, moisten the ink and then you stamp have you all seen that technique I'm sure that most of you have probably seen that technique do you all know the direct to the direct marker to stamp technique have you seen that let me know if you haven't because I can give you a very quick demo if you haven't seen that before all right so that's all our stamping done so now we're going to fussy cut these I'm going to put my glasses on so that I can see what I'm doing and we might just um, I'll just fussy cut one of these because I do have some already pre-done so just to save a bit of time I'm just leaving a little white border around the edge these shapes I know that some of you don't like um, or some people I won't say some of you but some people don't like fussy cutting but these are actually fairly easy shapes to cut out and they're not too small and fiddly um, the top of the strawberry you could just go you know right like right around it I'm just um, doing a little bit of extra cutting here just around the little um, what's the green parts the, the uh, flower parts of the top of the strawberry what is that part called oh my goodness I can't even think oops oh it was went a bit close there that's okay all right so there's um, that one see nice and quick and easy and then the ice cream I'm just going to go up between the two of these there we go um, when you are fussy cutting as I've said um, many times but I'll say it again in case there's anybody new watching basically we keep our scissors our scissor hand straight or, or in the same position all we're doing is opening and closing the blades of our scissors with that hand and we are manipulating the cardstock and turning the cardstock with our other hand so cutting with your dominant hand and 
manipulating the cardstock with your non-dominant hand and that helps you to get a nicer smoother cut and also too it's less stress on your hand and wrist as you're fussy cutting there we go we'll just get that little end there oh nearly chopped it off nearly not quite there we go isn't that just so cute and we'll use one of the other um little jam rolls that i had before who loves eating jam rolls do you love jam rolls let me know does anyone still eat them we used to love them i can't eat them anymore because they're not gluten free and i'm gluten intolerant now but um when i was growing up mum always had jam rolls especially like for special occasions we would she'd buy jam rolls um, and I think we often had them at Christmas time too on the table with all of the desserts so yes but I used to buy them for my I used to love the little ones you know the little um, the little bite size ones they were well you, you got about three bites out of one rather than the big one I liked the little ones all right so next what we're going to do we've got our little banner so what i did with my banner piece um so this was just two i think it was two and a half two and a half centimeters wide doesn't really matter about the length but i cut mine at five centimeters and then i popped it into my punch being careful that the hearts were up the correct way so i wanted to punch the bottom end so i popped that into my punch it was a little bit short to, for me to get it all the way to the end of the punch. So I just took a sticky label and I popped it on there to use that as a handle and then put that in, turned my punch over where I could see, lined the paper up with the end of the, um, the punch there and then just punched that end. But I won't do that again because that will just take more time and I've already got one done. So, and this is the, I love this banner's pick, pick a punch. It's my favorite. I use that one quite a bit so that's another little tip if you if you're having trouble getting your if your piece is a bit short to get into those um, label punches just use a little sticky note and just use that as a handle to guide that in and out again so there's a couple of little tips today all right so the next thing I'm going to do is adhere my ribbon and I'm going to wrap that all the way around now I was originally going to have a bow on my ribbon but when I was putting my card together I realized I'm actually not going to have room to um, to tie a bow so I'm just gonna have a strip of ribbon this time and I'm just using the white the blue the blue one that we're using in the class it was too clashy with the colors I was using so um, we're just using the white one on this card oh I don't want glue for that I want some glue dots So we're going to pop a glue dot on the end of each. So nobody eats jam rolls. Nobody's nobody's commenting on my question about jam rolls. Does anybody eat jam rolls or ice creams? Of course, everyone loves ice cream. Is there anybody that doesn't like ice cream? Let me know in the comments if you don't like ice cream. Most people like ice cream. Yesterday, I was actually craving... Um, not ice cream, but I was craving um, sorbet. I was, oh, I think because I was writing sweet sorbet, I was writing a, um, a list of um, products and I was writing sweet sorbet and it just made me really feel like eating sorbet, but we didn't have any to eat, so I couldn't eat any, but yeah. All right, so now we're just going to take our piece here. Now, this is just a standard layer um, measuring 10.1 centimeters across by 14.45. So I'm just going to take that right to the edge. Well, not quite right to the edge. We want just a little border. Oh, you love jam rolls, Robin. Yay. That's good. But your body doesn't. Oh, <laughs> Yes, well, I think that's everybody. I think everybody has that I'm same. How to choose the... Oh, I think everybody has that same problem, Robman. <laughs> Too much of anything, um, you know, can can be an issue. But uh, everything in moderation, you know, everything in moderation is okay. 
There we go. Oh, I've pulled that a bit tight. It's bowing the paper. Now that's the only thing when you're adding ribbon onto DSP like this, because usually if I do layers like this with ribbon, I'll use cardstock, but I didn't have an extra piece of cardstock layer between these. Just be careful not to pull it too tight because if you pull it too tight, it will bow your cardstock um, and then you'll have trouble adhering that down. But I think once we adhere that down flat, that's going to sit okay. All right. Now we're going to have this on here. I was deciding whether or not to tear the top. Um, Rose says, jam rolls are good for trifle. Oh, yes. So I used to use them in trifle when I used to make trifle. Um, you, oh, you don't like ice cream, Rose. Really? Wow. Okay. Oh, there you go. Agree they are great for trifle, Robin says. Yes. In fact, I was just talking to Amber the other day about trifle because we've been watching that Dessert Masters um, show, which has finished now, very sadly. But it was great. But um, we'd watch it each night having our dinner or we'd watch the replay having dinner. And we were checking out, um, <laughs> yeah, see, Amber says, see, it's a sign we need to make trifle. And we were saying, oh, we should make trifle at Christmas time this year. So there you go, Amber. We do need to. All right, so I'm going to pop this little tag under there like that. And this is going to go more over this way. This is going to pop under here so that we've got sort of these layers happening. And then we have to work out what we're going to pop up on this card because some of these elements, I will pop them up. So we'll definitely have to make trifle. And yes, I agree, ladies. Jam rolls are great for trifles. Um, sadly, I can't eat jam roll. However, I'm just thinking if we make a gluten-free vanilla cake, could I then spread jam on that to make our own, like my, rather than making a roll, maybe we could make it in layers and then do the jam in between. And then, oh, and do they have cream as well? They have cream as well, don't they? Or they just have jam. I think there's two different types. I think there's jam rolls with jam and cream and there's jam rolls just with jam. I know the little ones, I think they just have jam, no cream. But yeah, maybe we could do that and then add that to the trifle. That would be a good idea. Yes. All right, so then we're going to put those like that. Now I've got to decide on a card base. So this is my this was my original. Because now we've got the sentiment stamped in the pretty peacock, not pretty pink, pretty peacock. <laughs> that kind of does tie it in a little bit better now. But then I was a little bit concerned about how those jam rolls looked. Now I know jam rolls are not normally that colour, but they were the colours that kind of we've been using in the class and they go with the paper. I did do some tests with some other colours. I tried, um, what did I try? Let me see. I tried Bubble Bath. It didn't look any good in Bubble Bath. It was too light. Melon Mambo I didn't try, actually. That might have been good too. But then it wouldn't go with the colour scheme of the papers. All right, so it looks. I think that looks pretty good now on the... Um, let me know what you all think. Do you like the Pretty Peacock base? Because it ties in the Pretty Peacock in the sentiments and the Pretty Peacock banner. Or do you prefer Calypso Coral to tie in more of the jam rolls, which usually are not that colour? But remember, this is eclectic. I think I'm vibe. Yeah, actually, I'm not liking this with the pink. I'm not liking this with the pink now as a base. I think the Pretty Peacock. Do you all agree? Um, Amber said, last time we made gluten-free trifle, we made it with layers of gluten-free vanilla cake. Yeah, I thought that's what we did too. Yeah, no, I'm definitely not vibing that one actually. I like this. I like this. I think this goes much better. And then we'll add some bling. What do you think? I like that. Yes. I think that's the one I'm going to go with. Um, Julie said, yes, the small ones do have jam and yes, you could do that with a vanilla cake, spread your jam and roll it like a Swiss roll and slice for trifle. I could roll it. It couldn't I, if I did it in a, in a, um, a shallow pan and then rolled it 
while it was still warm. Would that work, do you reckon, Julie? I guess if it broke up, it wouldn't matter anyway, would it? Because it's going into a trifle. So I could give it a go and see what happens. <laughs> so, yeah. That's a good idea, Julie. I hadn't thought to, um, yeah, until you said that, I hadn't thought about doing it in a um, smaller, a smaller, uh, like a shallower tin to then roll it up. All right, so I think this is what we're going to go with. We are going to adhere this layer. I'm going to use tear and tape because we've got the ribbon on there as well. Let me get my snips. We've got the ribbon there. So we want to make sure that that um, adheres well. If I was to put glue over the top of that ribbon, all that's going to happen is the glue is just going to absorb into that ribbon, but we're not going to get the adhesive or the adhesion. Would you say adhesion or adhesive? So um, I think tear and tape is the way to go with this layer. There we go. Getting low on this roll of tear and tape. It'll be time for a new roll soon. I do love tear and tape. I am a tape girl from way back. In fact, it's all I ever used to use was that and mounting foam. I never used to use glue back in the day. I use it more often now because it's quicker for my videos. But... Um, Years ago, I only ever used tear and tape. So there you go. Oh, actually, I tell a lie. Well, I don't mean to tell a lie, but I did. we did used to have a glue pen back then too that I used to use before, before my Stampin' Up! days. Like I'm talking way back when. Oh, that's not straight. <gasps> the only thing is you've got to be careful with tape because if you stick it down and it's not... This is why I only do one section at a time. If you stick it down and it's not lined up, it's just a bit trickier to line it up because I've got the, the ribbon on there. And it's taking up some of the dimension. There we go. I think that's better. There we go. Yes, the tape does stick very tightly. So if you do stick it down and you've got tape, then um, you can use your spatula, your spatula end on your take a pick tool, but just be very gentle with it. Don't be rough like I am because you break you break it. <laughs> I've broken a few because I'm too, I think I get too impatient and I'm like, hurry up. I want to get this off in a hurry. And then, yeah, don't do that. Don't do what Mandy does. <laughs> Just do it gently and it will come off and yeah, it'll be good. It does stick very nice and tightly. All right. Now our little label, we need to pop this behind there. So I might attach that first. Let's put some glue on there. Um, yeah, Julie said, yeah, flat tray and cool first and then spread with jam and roll with a tea towel. Oh, thanks, Julie. They're great tips. I would have probably tried to roll it when it was warm, but yeah, I guess that makes sense. It probably would break then, wouldn't it? And rolling it with a tea towel, that is a great tip. Thanks, Julie. We'll give that a go. We'll let you know how we go with it. Maybe we need to do a trial run. Nah, we'll just wing it on the day. <laughs> Probably won't have time for a trial run, actually. Now, I was thinking about tearing the top of this to make it look like it was torn out of a book. But I don't know. What do you reckon? Should I think I should maybe just leave it because everything else is straight. We've got straight ribbon and like everything else is straight edges. Nothing on this one is. You know I love my distressing, but we don't have any distressing on this one. You know what we could do if we wanted to? We could get a blending brush and blend a bit of colour over the the background here, but I don't think it needs it. I think we've got so much going on on here already. I think that that's just going to be good as it is. So I want to mount these two up here. I'm just trying to think, will I mount up this layer as well or will I keep that one flat? I think I'm going to pop it up on dimensionals. I want it to sit up a little bit higher. Give it a, lip, a little bit more of a lift. Let me grab my Stampin' Dimensionals. So what are you all preparing to cook or make for your Christmas day? Do you do something special? Do you have a certain traditions, like in terms of the foods that you have at Christmas? Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you do for Christmas. Not that not that this is a Christmas card, but you know, Christmas is coming and we are thinking about what we're 
what we're going to be doing. Do you like my little lines that I now draw on my um, Stampin' Dimensionals so I can see where I've taken the backings off? This is a good example of it, actually, because this paper is so busy that if I didn't have those lines marked on my dimensionals, it would be very hard, uh, very easy to miss taking off the backings because the backings are, you know, completely white. So it would be very hard to see where I've taken the backings off and where I haven't. But those black lines just help me to see, um, yeah, to see where I have and haven't taken them off. All right, so we're going to pop this down round about here, I reckon. I reckon that's a good spot. Did I have it up that high before? Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with that. There we go. And then we're going to mount up each one of these as well. Now that one's going to hang off a little bit. So we just want some dimensionals on the bottom part of this gem roll. Let's see. Put one there. Might get some minis and put some minis just there in the corners too. So as I said, this isn't one of the cards from the class. This is just an extra one that I've just thrown together today. I was inspired by a card that I saw whoops, on um, Pinterest, although this is quite different to the one that I did see. Um, and the one that I saw wasn't watermarked, so I can't tell you who created it, um, unfortunately, because they hadn't watermarked their photo and I didn't save the name so let's pop one in there let's see where else up here uh, but yes but this is very different too and they they didn't use these products they used something else but I just liked this kind of this sort of similar layout but um, yeah Pinterest is great for creative inspiration all right, so just pop that there like so. Yay, cute. And then this one is going to overlap. So we don't want to put any, we don't want to put any um, dimensionals where it's going to overlap there. We just want to put dimensionals on this side here where it's going to sit down on the paper on this DSP here. So probably only need one. Oh, let's put one under the, um, under the strawberry at the top as well okay peel those off and I might put a little bit of glue just where it's going to overlap onto the ice cream I'll just pop a little bit of glue there just so that it doesn't lift and um, curl up funny or do anything crazy we don't want that let's put that up there like that there we go oh that's so cute very different to my cards that I normally do, isn't it? Very different. But something, it, it's great to try different things. And um, let's add some bling and change it up. You know, we've all got different likes and interests and different people like different things. So I think it's good to try different styles. And I love the retro feel of this with those colours and um, sort of the... The style of the stamps I really love those all right so these are the iridescent rhinestone basic jewels and I think we need like a big one up here we've got a lot of white space up here so I think we need one up there and perhaps oops let's grab this one here that one there and let's grab a medium size one where will we put this one in there down here How about down here oh don't want to have it in line with that one maybe up here nope over here over there there we go there we go that's our card done how quick was that that was really quick today because I was semi-organized <laughs> and had everything ready beforehand. Now, that is just 
really simple card to put together as you saw it didn't take much it was just a bit of fussy cutting I did use the punch for that but if you didn't have that punch you could certainly snip that with your paper snips you just measure halfway what did I say that was two and a half centimeters so measure 1.25 centimeters put a little pencil mark and then just um, snip with your, your snips in that way in that way and then done but yeah really cute really cute little card there you go <laughs> oh you love it Robin oh thank you oh thank you Glenda I'm glad you like that yeah just something different and lots of color going on and I just love this stamp set it's just so it's just super cool isn't it it's just super cool and eclectic because the paper is the eclectic what is it delightfully eclectic that's what it is so there you go yeah um so in the class we have used the other stamps that i haven't used today we've used the other ones as well i love these little um cola bottles or soft drink bottles they are just absolutely adorable so yeah so definitely join in on my class i think you will really love it um lots of super fun cards um, in this class in fact this one was so quick and easy to put together I would love to do some more of those not right now I'll let you all go um, but I'd love to do some more of those and um, send them out to my customers because they're just super easy to put together and they're really cute so there you go all right well I'm going to tip the camera back up to have a have a final farewell well not final farewell I'm not going away anywhere <laughs> not yet <laughs> not yet <laughs> um and yes i will tell you about a couple of other things before we go all right bear with me just get this camera set back up tell you what i'm getting thirsty all that all that card making makes you thirsty I better flip the screen so i'm not on the roof there we go around the right way I am a bit red and flushed aren't I it's getting a bit hot in the craft room here there we go all right let me take a sip of water I'm very thirsty I've been it's it's a long time to talk constantly for um an hour or now what have we been going oh just over an hour we've done quite well today The last couple of lives I've done have been very long and um, which is great like I don't mind spending time with you all but sometimes I think some people um, you know might not want to hang around that long or have other things they have to do which I totally understand so I thought I want to try and keep it quicker today um, which we did so it worked out really well but how cute is that lots of color going on there lots of it's just a very bright happy card isn't it and I've got my my retro brooches in case you missed that at the beginning I've got my retro brooches on today because we're, we're doing a bit of cooking so I've got my uh, my retro mix master did anybody have a mix master like this I did I inherited my well my mum had one and uh, which is why I've got this brooch and um, John's auntie had one and I inherited John's auntie's one when he when she wasn't baking anymore she sort of got to the point where you know she was on her own and she got older and she wasn't baking anymore so I inherited her original mix master and it lasted me for years years and years I was using it until it finally carked it um yeah but I loved it it was a fantastic mix master but heavy oh my goodness it was so heavy and it had like I don't know that felt like it was made of lead like the base was so heavy um and it, and it wasn't a huge you know it wasn't a really huge mix master not like nowadays ones you see the the ones now well we've actually got a more modern one now since moving to this house and it's big and bulky and I can't even fit it in my cupboard it sits on the bench because it doesn't fit in the cupboard um yeah but did you ever did did anyone ever have one of these mix masters these old original sunbeam mix masters oh you still use yours rose you got it before you got married 50 years ago and it's still going strong oh that's amazing 
Oh, that makes me feel emotional, actually. That's so special. I don't know why. I think because it makes me think of my mum. <laughs> yeah. Oh, beautiful. An upright, um, upright stove. We had an upright stove when I was growing up. Ours wasn't a beautiful teal colour like this. Those ours was just white. But um, the upright stove, you don't see those around much these days. And, of course, recipe book. This is my little recipe book that um, that's very important very special to me because um, I inherited all my mum's old recipes so um, and I did I did um, forward a copy on to my sister as well my girls actually made you might have heard me now I'm chatting um, you might have heard me I'll just tell you this and then I'll let you all go you might have heard me um, or seen me post now it was probably a couple of years ago because mum passed away three years well going on for it'll be four years actually in February of 2024, so nearly four years, um, the girls put together all of mum's recipes into photo books. They had um, copied and scanned all of the recipes, so everything's in her handwriting, and they put them into a hardcover um, bound book for me. So I've got and it's actually two books full of her recipes. So they did a copy for my sister as well. Um, so we each have mum's um, recipes in her own handwritten um yeah in her own handwriting which is very special so yeah and of course my cups of tea which i will have a cup of tea later but i think i'll wait oh this one's twisted i'll wait until i cool down a little bit because i'm a bit hot right now <laughs> oh you have an upright stove as well rose oh so special that's so special oh beautiful Wow, I'll tell you what, they don't make them like they used to either, mix masters or stoves. We have, we're on to our second stove already since being in this house. What have we been here, 14 years? We're on our second stove already. The first one was so dodgy since the day we moved in, had constant problems with it and ended up having to get a new one um, during COVID. I think it was 20, must have been 20, was it 2020 or 2021? No, it must have been 2021. We had to get a new stove because, um, yeah, the original one just finally carved it and we couldn't do it. And we had it repaired so many times. This one's been pretty good, actually. We haven't had any problems with this one. But, um, yes, and mix masters, they don't make them like they used to either. Although this one, yeah, this one I've only had for a couple of years. So, actually, I don't know. I don't know how many, Ambo, are you still on there? How many years do you reckon we've had this Mix Master for? It's a big one. The girls wanted to get me a big, you know, one of those big whiz-bang ones. I hardly use it. The girls use it more than I do. <laughs> so I don't bake as much now as I used to. Since well, Actually, since hurting my back, um, yeah, I don't bake as much as I used to. But um, anyway, blah, blah. You know me. I could keep chatting. But thank you all so much for joining me to make this cute little so super cool eclectic card today. So make sure you check out my class. Where's my... Let me grab my little flyer. Make sure you check out my class because the registration's closed tomorrow. So you don't want to miss out on this one. There's two options there as well. So if you want to get all of the products to be able to make the projects... Um, or if you just, or if you already have those products and you just want the PDF tutorial, then there's an option for that as well. So be sure to check that out. Um, I'll pop the link up again in the comments. I did pop it up at the beginning, but in case you missed it, I'll pop it up again for you now. And I'll also make sure that it is in the description of the video, both here on Facebook and on YouTube. There we go. So I've just popped that in the comments for you. Well, I hope you all have a great week. As I said, we've only got three weeks left till Christmas. Oh, my goodness. Um, so much to do. Lists to make, cards to make, things to send. <laughs> but um, I hope you all have a great week. I'm going to still be around for another couple of weeks. I am going to be taking some time off um, between or just before Christmas and going into New Year. But um, there will still be stuff happening. There'll be stuff going up on um, on my social media. So you won't even know I'm gone. Um, if there's anything super urgent, I won't be far away. But um, yes, I do need to just take a break because I haven't really had a proper break um, 
most of this year. I think I did have had a week or two off when John's mum passed away, but that was different. That wasn't even a proper break. That was stress. <laughs> so I need some, some downtime um, to spend with my family. So yes, I'm going to be doing that. But I will, be, I will be here next Monday and the Monday after as well. And then after that, I'll be going on holidays. So yeah. So I'll see you for the next couple of weeks. And um, yeah, if there is anything... So if there's anything specific that you would like me to show um, or demonstrate, please let me know because sometimes I'm racking my brain thinking, what do I want to show this week? What do people want to see? I want to be showing you things that you enjoy, that you want to see. So if there's particular things that you do want to see, please send me a private message and let me know. Um, don't post it here in the comments because I might not see it. Sometimes Facebook hides some of the comments. But yes, yeah, certainly send me a message. There's a message button at the top of my Facebook page here. Um, or you can send me a private message if you already have me as a friend on Facebook. Um, and let me know if there's anything that you would like me to um, demonstrate or to share with you. Now, I don't have every single product in the catalogue, obviously. So if, I don't, if it's something that I don't have, um, if it's a specific product you want to see, then I might be able to substitute with something else or it might be something that's already on my wish list anyway. So, but yeah, just let me know. All right. Um, Rose says, see you next week. We like whatever you do. Oh, thank you, Rose. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. You're, you are so sweet, Rose. <laughs> Thanks everyone. Have a great week. And I look forward to seeing you all again next Monday at 4pm Australian Eastern Daylight Time. Have a great week and happy crafting. Bye.